Yeah. Yo, what's up guys? So you're going to back here another video and as you can see this is going to be a new type of uh, content on my channel. Uh, I'm going to be starting a brand new series where I do football news daily, um, every evening or maybe every morning, but I'll, every, every day I'll be uploading uh, football news daily. And um, yeah, so yeah, I'm going to be talking to you about football news. Um, it's been a while since I've, I've done a, a football video. Um, <clears throat> Obviously, there's nothing wrong because you know what. So I've been doing lots of gaming, but um, we're back with football, and we're gonna get into the story today, which is <coughs> obviously Bundesliga is returning this weekend, and what team I, I would be supporting. And the, the Premier League is set to become coming back June the first, and also a few other news is uh, about Arsenal transfers. News is leaked with um, Acardi. And a few other players. So yeah, guys, it's gonna be all one episode, and then tomorrow, you know, uh, we're gonna have to wait and see. So make sure, guys, if you do enjoy these series, make sure you do hit hit a like button, and also comment down below um, what you, if you want to shout out in 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 the next daily video. That's what I'll be doing as well. And also make sure you do subscribe if you're new. Um, I want to thank you so much for the, for the support lately. Obviously, we hit 100 subscribers. We're now on 105. So five of you subscribed. Let's try and make it 10. Um, really mean the world to me, and also turn on post notifications so you can be the first dude, first guy, first person to comment. And whoever who who comments first on this video will get a shout out in my next video. So, yeah, make sure you guys you do comment. But anyway, let's get right into the first piece of news, and that is Bundesliga obviously returning on um, this weekend actually. And um, I'm, I, I can't wait to uh, see football on again. It's uh, been absolutely ages since I've watched football. Um, so obviously the team I'll be supporting, I, I'm in a mixture of two. Obviously, the reason I'm saying this, the reason I'm saying where is it, Bayern Munich, is because only because I've got a Bayern Munich top. Only because I've got a Bayern Munich top. So that's why I'm saying Bayern Munich. But the team I really want to support, yeah, is not Dortmund. It's, it's actually... They're third in the league. It's uh, RB Leipzig, and um, they've got some really good players. Obviously, they've got the types of uh, obviously we've got uh, we we leaked with uh, uh, they are I can't speak. They are Puka uh, Obviously, for who plays for them, very good player. So yeah, I'm gonna be supporting them as well as I'll be watching Bayern Munich. And guys, we'll be watching ones are coming back as well. You know, the famous watch ones. They they'll be coming back for Germany football. So um, yeah, so the Bundesliga table. Is well, it's quite tight actually. Uh, Bayern Munich are first, we're leading with 55 points. Then Dortmund are coming second, only only with 52 points, and then Red Bull Leipzig on 50. So Bayern Munich are playing, I think they've got Union Berlin, uh, Dortmund are playing Schalke, and Leipzig are playing for Freiburg. So yeah, it's, it's really close, and I'm, I'm going to be really excited to. Finally, watch the football back. I've thought I've been missing it so much. Um, football is returning, everybody. Only for Germany, unfortunately. But yeah, talking about football is returning. Maybe for the Premier League, let's go to that next. The Premier League is set to be, be to be returning June the first. Is, is apparently the the release when apparently they're going to be playing the the finish behind closed doors um, at neutral ground. So like Wembley. Um, uh, what is it? Um, St George's Park, uh, yeah, like neutral grounds instead of their own, like the Emirates. I think they might use the Emirates. I'm not too sure. They're gonna do, use the West Ham Stadium, London Stadium, but they did. They won't. They won't be using that like, Vitality, like Bournemouth or whatever. However, the Premier League clubs are, un, are, un, are unhappy to uh, play at neutral grounds. Apparently, they all want to play at their own grounds. Um, and then there's brings up another story. Apparently, because guys, you got to think about. People, there's some people, there's some obviously crazy football fans who just don't listen to anything, you know, and what the Premier League are worried about is they're going to be painted behind closed doors, but the fans are going to cause so much chaos outside. Uh, you know, you, you've seen it in when the Champions League, Valencia versus Atalanta, when they had to play behind closed doors. The amount of people who actually waited outside, it's just, uh, they just waited outside. Um, and cause so much chaos. I think that's what, what the Premier League are worried about. And the reason they put it to June the 1st is because they want to wait and see how the Bundesliga does. Um, but yeah, uh, 
there is obviously a few players who can who will re refuse this. Uh, when uh, for Arsenal, when is one of them, um, mainly because he says he he said he's he apparently says says it's not the right time yet. Um, and for Aston Villa, they've got two players who one has asthma, so he's in one of the cri I've got asthma as well, funny enough. Um, but he's one of in like the like the critical cap carrots. If he gets it, it will pretty much maybe a risk of his life. Um, and also, there's another Aston Villa player who uh, lives with his uh, nan who has cancer or something. I, I don't know the full story, but apparently uh, Aston Villa don't don't don't, don't want to go back yet. Um, and apparently, another news about the Championship. Championship could be returning uh, after the Premier League, so June sixth. Um, says here, and also League One will be uh, League One and League Two will be June eighth. So I think they're going to put the Premier League back first, hopefully. And yeah, so apparently they did have a meeting, but it's still, still, still not, still not official yet, guys. Still not official. Um, even if they do play it behind closed doors, you know. Um, what if one of one of the players from any club gets, you know, contracts it? I know they're gonna test them all, but when they, you, guys, you, you do realize when you get a test, right? When you, when you get tested, you you got to work two days before. So say say like so, so say like, if do example, say like we got Lucas Torreira, right? Um, he gets tested for it, and then and then obviously I, th I think he lives with his brother. No, he lives with his wife. So he so he contracts it. At home, then no one's going to know that he that he has it. So he's going to pass it on to all the Arsenal players. That means the Arsenal players are going to have to go in isolation, plus the team that they um, played. So he says that he's playing Liverpool. Liverpool have to go in isolation as well. So it's like, and then that's going to delay the Premier League. So I I, I don't get what what's going to happen, but yeah, guys, um, that's sort of all about the Premier League right now. Is apparently June. The first is that. Um, now we're going to move on to some capsule news for the Gunners, and we're sort of uh, uh, Mario Accardi, and apparently, um, obviously he's been heavily linked with us. But Accardi's wife, obviously we know all, all about her, right? Um, from Inter and stuff like that. Um, Accardi's wife, actually, if you didn't go on her uh, Instagram. A uh, few rumours, says here, a few rumours of potential move to Arsenal as she posted a snap of her, uh, their son wearing a gunner shirt. So uh, on Instagram there, no, no, sorry, not snap, is Instagram. Isn't it? No, it's snap, it's snap, it's snap. And the uh, wife posted a snap of her son wearing an Arsenal shirt. Then again, it, it could mean anything, you know, because Arsenal... Are, a very, are are one of the top clubs, obviously in 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 the Premier League. I I, I know right now we're doing proud, but we are one of the toppest clubs in the Premier League, right? Um, big biggest, should I say? We're one of the biggest. Man City are not are not a big club. Right now, they're they're one of the best, but they've not they're, they're not they're not they're not the biggest. You you remember them from I don't know ten years ago? They was fighting relegation, right? They've only just come up. Same thing with Spurs. They're okay. They might be better than us right now, but they're they're not bigger than us. Liverpool. You can argue, yeah, they 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 are a biggest club um, as well. Man, Man United, yeah, biggest club. Obviously, they used to be a bit better than us one time. Um, and then you've got other teams who Wolves are, are not a big club, despite they're doing really well. So yeah, you you have to remember that in other countries as well. Um, Arsenal are a massive club, so it could be anything because I've seen so many players' sons wear Arsenal shirts. Um, yeah, and so it could, could be anything. Um, so apparently now the Argentina striker is currently on loan at Paris. Inter Milan has speculation, and he could even be involved with a huge swap deal involving Pierre and Aubameyang. Obviously, so much talk about Aubameyang uh, right now. Uh, so there could be a sort of deal for them, um, but yeah, it's just showing his picture of the sun. 
uh, the guy from Torwood is 30, is about to enter the final year of his contract at Arsenal, and his claims also already tested the waters into an exchange. Now, Hardy's partner, Wanda, who is an, also an agent, so Hardy's wife is an agent apparently, so um, has heard up talk about transfer, um, and she says more about Hardy. Um, about is it how we about in on and stuff like that. So guys, uh, more news about Arsenal right now. Um, Willie was obviously T Thomas Partey is the main person being talked, and also Alexander Lacazette could be going the other way. Would guys would this be? Would, would you take this? Aubameyang leaving, Akari coming in, Thomas Partey coming in for Lacazette. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, because I believe Abanyan, who's going to replace these goals? Akadi, he, he's been, he, to be fair, he, he, he's he been on fire this season, but I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, and you've got, obviously, Party's a superb player, and you, you have to remember, Una Emery wanted him, um, even over Pepe, so he's, he's, he's looking good. But, um, yeah, I still wouldn't, Still wouldn't take him. Oh, sorry, no, I still wouldn't take a cardio over Bammy. I'll, I'll take. Mm -mm. I was gonna say I'll take party over Lacazette, but nah. Why do we have to swap players? Like, I, I, I get it. Like, obviously we're gonna be broke now because um of the wages, and we have to take a wage cut and stuff. And uh, and the owner Sam Cormier don't care about us. So, but yeah, that is all the news about Arsenal right now. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed this because you got there. Let me know if you're doing these because I enjoy making these. And yeah, I'll be back with some news tomorrow. Peace out.